Hey everyone, this is Peter with Carius.net, and in this video we're going to be reviewing the Slide It keyboard for the Android operating system. In front of you, you see a Verizon Fascinate from Samsung running Android 2.1. And as with all these videos, like all these videos, in the first couple minutes we're going to go over the basic features, and in the last part of the video we are going to cover the more advanced features, the settings, and how to tailor each keyboard to fit your own needs and uh, wants out of the keyboard that you use. So let's jump into it and also on carries.net you can find the full article <clears throat> excuse me reviewing all 12 articles or sorry 12 keyboards and our recommendations are kind of summaries and you can find all the videos there or you can find the videos on our YouTube channel carries.net. So with that in mind let's jump into it. So when you download slide it for the first time you're going to want to go to your settings go down to your language and keyboard and just make sure that there is a green tick mark next to the slide at keyboard so going back to our messaging let's to change keyboards you long press on the input and then you just select your keyboard from the list click once more and you're up and running so again with this keyboard pretty basic layout gray on gray on black um, <clears throat> it's got blue highlights as with all shift buttons you press it once for shift, twice, or in this case you, sorry, long press to hold it as a caps lock and that little green button appears. And then again you just press it to get rid of that. You have your standard number selection. What's nice about your number selection is at the top you also have cut, copy, and paste. Um, at any time this slider right here changes it from sliding or swiping around to the different keys to just typing with the ABC. So kind of nice if you need to type out something really fast and you don't have to worry about your finger actually catching a part of the screen and it trying to swipe or slide it then that's really nice. Um, and again just a great overall uh, feature of the keyboard. So let's, oops, sorry about that. Um, let's go back into the numbers real fast. Um, again you can click on this little one out of four to get to the rest of your symbols. So you can just keep scrolling, uh, gets to different math stuff, gets to your navigation keys up, down, left, right. Very convenient. Going back to your ABC keyboard or your QWERTY keyboard, let's type out our key phrase for these demos, uh, dinner and a movie tonight. So we'll start going. And this is again what you would do if you would type it out. So there's dinner and this is how you would swipe it out. So again you just kind of follow your um, key so if you would go from D to I then you just hold on D, swipe to I, then go down to N and then to E and to R. Unlike swipe, um, slide it, you don't have to do little squigglies or circles on keys to do double. As you see I just touched N and then went on and it put in the two ends for dinner. So it does adapt to that. Now if you did want to say diner you can click that and it changes it. Click dinner again, changes it back. And if you start sliding it again, then you'll go on to the next word. So, dinner and a movie. And then we have our question mark. So, really simple, really easy to use. Um, a great keyboard. Let's try out the speech to text on it just to give you an idea of what that's like. So you just click that little guy. Dinner and a movie tonight, question mark. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see what we get. Oh, sorry, our Wi-Fi is kind of iffy here. Let's try one more time. Dinner and a movie tonight, question mark. Come on. Oh, it's not going to do it. Well, as you can see in the other videos, um, it'll kind of give you a different selection of what it thinks you're trying to say, and then you just click on it and it inserts it right there. So I apologize about the Wi-Fi connection. Um, that is the basic settings of our keyboard. So now we're going to go into the more advanced features and the settings. So stick around if you want to kind of see those. So Again, let's go into the settings. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so you go into your numbers, then you click settings up there. Um, kind of gives you the version up top. It gives you um, different options for your preferences, speech recognition, automatic space, display slide pass. So, for example, you could have it um, trace your entire word that you're doing. Oh, sorry. 
and tr trace your entire word that you're doing out, or you can just have it stay a letter behind you so your keyboard doesn't look like a spider web afterwards. Um, now we go into our languages, so you can download the language pack from the market, you can set different secondary languages, um, notifications, again, when you type, do you want sound, do you want vibrates, vibrate on the phone, stuff like that. So let's go into our shortcuts, manage our shortcuts. And now these, as I'll put in my review, you can type AAK and then it'll type out a sleep at keyboard. So I will show you those in a second. And as always, we'll have the full list on our guide or rather a link to the full list because this one is a little bit long. Um, but you can add new shortcuts. So if you always say a certain phrase or you just want a sentence to be completely typed out every time you see like every time you write like WU for like what's up right now or anything like that, you can do all of that in this shortcut setting. So very nice if you have, you know, your own kind of shortcut language with friends, if you want to be able to type out those shortcuts, but then also have it type the full length as well. Again, great feature of the slided keyboard. So let's go back into here and I think, yeah, let's download a language pack real fast. Let's do something easy. Come on. Again, sorry about the Wi-Fi. Let's get this puppy going. All right, how long is this gonna take? Oh, perfect. So let's go back into our settings. Secondary language. Well, we might have to exit out of our settings for it to work. There you go, language pack has been installed successfully. So we'll go back into our settings. We'll go down to our secondary language and we'll choose French. All right, perfect. Now going back into the keyboard, we can see that, oh no, this is our graffiti setting. I'll get into that in a second. Go back into our keyboard and I believe there we go. So you push the little world button next to the microphone and it changes your languages. So again, if we change to Arabic, it would have the Arabic characters. If we change to any other language, it would have those right there. So that's the great part about that. Um, Slide It does have a graffiti style input. And if you don't know what graffiti is, check out our other video um, on graffiti, which is used to be for the Palm OS phones and is now on Android excitingly so. Um, so now let's go into our graffiti. Um, the graffiti section is limited to, I believe, um, numbers and punctuations and symbols right now. So I believe it can only do, um, yeah, so it does symbols, it does punctuations, it doesn't do what graffiti does, which is letters and all sorts of combinations. So a nice kind of dual feature in here. You get multiple keyboards, you get kind of like a draw your own section. Let's go back to the ABC for a second. Let me show you a cool trip that trick, excuse me, hopefully that works. So if you want to type out websites, I believe, yeah. So to type out www, you can www.google.com. The only thing I traced was W G O G L E C O M. Um, obviously, it, the system might get confused if you are if you know your website begins with a W or if it has a com in it, things of that nature. Um, but I think what you can do to prevent that is you can also do W to dot, then spell out Google, then go back to dot, and then do com. Let's see what that does. So W to there, G O G L E, back to period, com. Oh, so again, it doesn't work with the period. You do just have to do W and then the site. Um, but you can kind of play around with those settings in the settings. I haven't updated my slide it, so I believe in the new edition, uh, you can set those kind of things in the settings. But um, a really cool way to really fast put in websites. Let's do careace.net. Nope, it's not going to do it. Okay, so I think you can also do a... Uh, no, I can't do the W. Okay, so for the Google example is one of the main ones. You can go to the website to find more of those kind of examples. Um, and again, it allows for those abbreviations and shortcuts. So let me go into that. And sorry, I'll forget what one I was going to do real fast. Okay, so AAK and ADN. So let's do those. So let's go back. New message. 
A A K. A sleep at keyboard. So as you can see, it puts it up there. I clicked the wrong thing to do, and we have A D N. So you can click again. The shortcut is highlighted in green. So you can click that and it goes to any day now. So again, really great keyboard. Um, one other thing that I just want to point out real fast is this little kind of kind of thumbtack up in the top right corner. You click on that and that locks the keyboard to where you are. And it locks the keyboard to what you're using it as. So also another really handy feature um, and again locks the layout of the keyboard is what the site says. So. Great keyboard. Um, stick around for our other reviews of the other 10 keyboards that we're covering. And as always, visit carace.net to see the full article. And thanks for tuning in.